Rocky. How's it going, my fellow homo sapiens? It's your boy, the legendary Hadeo, and I'm coming at you with a Gans E Manga chapter review. Gans E Manga chapter 22. This and more coming at you next. Oh man, oh man. So here's the review for Gans chapter E22. This one's coming out pretty late, mainly because I couldn't find a English dub. For uh, chapter 22, I had to slowly translate one of the Japanese raw chapters. So I did my best, so please forgive me on this one. But this chapter here really focused on two main characters for the Gans games. One of the characters is the, I call him the thief, and the second character I'm going to call him the psychic that we met in chapter 21. So this chapter opens up at a fish mark and we get this new character who's actually stealing some fish and he's running away. I call this character the thief for the time being until we get his name. He ends up going to this burning down um, house where he goes to give this to his siblings, this fish to the siblings, and they seem to be very happy. They're satisfied. They're like, wow, brother, you're awesome. And um, he ends up giving them the fish to eat, and he's sitting there cooking it. So we can already see that this character has someone that he, he has a group of people that he cares about. He has his brothers that he cares about. And he's going out there, he's stealing food, and he's bringing it to them. It seems like they don't have parents or anyone else to care for them. So he's their only caretaker. So we can already see that this character is going to be somewhat important in the concept of he's going to need to stay alive because without him, those kids are probably going to die. That's a big deal. So we switch over to Psychic, and once again, he's trying to make that money. He's sitting at the gambling house, and he's just racking up wins. I mean, this dude has crap tons of yen sitting there, and he keeps winning, keeps winning. He's using his Psychic abilities to look through the cup to see if it's odds are even, and he's calling it right every single time, pretty much. And the house is not happy. The house is not happy. They take him and ask him to take, they take him outside. They're giving him the talking to. They seem really, really Really angry and then out of nowhere they start beating the crap out of this guy now in my personal opinion I felt like if he had these abilities he should have won a little bit lost a little bit won a little bit and then took his winnings went off for a while gave it a break but this guy here he decided to go all the way in and just keep winning and winning and winning and winning and come on now you, you just can't do that personally but they end up jumping this guy and they're they're beating the crap out of him but what they didn't know was this guy has some abilities and he used his newfound psychic abilities to literally blow these people back. I mean, his powers were so powerful that it even destroyed the ground as these people are just flying away, just, just, just blown back. They was not prepared for his sheer power and to think that he just gained these abilities the day beforehand. That's insane. No. So we switch over to Hanbi and Masakachi and we notice that they can start to hear a little bit of the music, the song, this indicating that they're getting ready to get transported to the gas room. So at this point, they're starting to get prepared for it. And then we switch back over to Psychic. And once again, he's back at the brothel and he's with the girl that reminds him of his sister. And they're sitting there, they're talking, and he's letting her know that he feels relaxed when he's beside her and... Please just give him a few more, a little bit more time. He'll have enough money to pretty much buy her freedom to get her out of there. She says something like, you seem very tense. And um, she seems like to be somewhat concerned. But, you know, in my personal opinion, I don't know if it's more of an act. So he will just kind of pay for freedom or she actually feels for this man, you know. Um, but once again, I really do love his, his personality right now. I love how he goes to the brothel and gets right. And, you know, he seems like a pretty decent character. Um, I like how he's actually going out there to try to get the money to get this girl free out of this brothel. So that's pretty interesting for me. And then we skip back over to Thief, and he's been chased through the streets. You have a group of people that's chasing him, mainly because he's most likely to stole something from them or have stole from them in the past. And as they're running after this guy, uh, he's talking trash. So I kind of like that. Uh, he seems to be kind of young. He's talking trash to him, but... 
Get him! You're dead! I'm gonna get you! Pay what you owe! Finally, they end up catching up with this kid, and they're not too happy. And once again, they beat the living hell out of this kid. I mean, he's getting the beating of his lifetime, literally. Um, they are stomping the hell out of this young man, and they're definitely gonna beat the money out of this guy. Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Fight back! Fight back! And then finally, we move back to the psychic, and the psychic now, he's starting to walk home. He's, he done had his very, uh, what would you say, adventurous day, and he's starting to head home, and out of nowhere, Someone from the gambling house sneaks up on him and stabs him in the back and he starts to bleed out. He drops down, he starts to bleed out and we get a panel of the psychic and the thief as they lay in there and they're bleeding out and we already know what's getting ready to happen. The screen goes black and they wake up in the dance room and as they're looking around, they're like, what the hell's going on? Where are we? What the fuck? Basically, that's what's going on. They're like, what What in the world? And everyone else is still kind of transporting into the room. And that's pretty much the chapter. There's one more part to the end of this chapter. And it's basically the people from the gambling house. They show up to see the psychic guy's body. And his body's gone. There's this big pool of blood there. But there's no body. One guy's like, where the body at? Another guy was like, I, I stabbed him here. He died here. And then one person was like, so did he just get up and walk away? Did he just get up and go home? And the person like, no, that's too much blood. So they're, they're kind of confused what the hell's going on here. And that's it. Now, overall, what did I think about this chapter? Uh, the chapter was okay. It wasn't really impactful in my personal opinion. It wasn't like a very exciting chapter. It was just another chapter to kind of pretty much introduce these two new characters, even though we got the introductory for the psychic character. The last chapter is more of kind of showing how these two characters entered into Gantz itself. Now, we got a little bit more information about Psychic. We got a little bit more um, concepts of what he's capable of. But now we also have this new Thief Kid character, and he seems pretty cool. I can't wait to see what he can do into the game. But I think that these two characters are going to be very important in the game of Gantz. But that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the review, please rate, subscribe, comment, and share. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Matane.